Alec, uh, welcome. It's, uh, we're talking about Epic yeah. Rap Battles of History, Season 4. ERB, baby. It's time once again. Yes. All right, so what did you think? First impressions, we just watched them all, so. Um, easily, like, quality, best season by far. Like, this is the hardest tier list. Like, I, I, I don't even feel good about putting my last place in last place, because, like, it, to me, it was, like, definitely above any of the last place ones that we had on any other season. Um, really? I have wow. I have a couple of the other a couple of the other seasons here. I'm just looking through and he was like, yeah, there were some that were just like weren't as good, but I just I just felt like the quality of the the raps were just and the and the beats were just so much better. Not always as quality. Some of the references were still like eh, here and there, but I felt like overall just because the quality of the production was so much higher for the most part. Um, you know, they still have some sort of the costuming and, and makeup is still has a goofy low budget charm, but mm. the, uh, the beats and the, the performances themselves are just better than ever. So there's a lot of killer in this, not much filler. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, so even the worst one for me, the worst one is Oprah versus Ellen. That's always been my least favorite of the, of this season, but even that one's pretty good. And then all the other ones are like excellent, mm-hmm. I think. I I had um, yeah, that one's kind of low for me too. Well, we can go through um, your rankings like we did before okay. from the bottom. Okay. Um, I actually have Terminator versus Robocop. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I don't necessarily have the biggest frame of reference for either. I I know about both just because of like general. Uh, sort of pop culture parlance Zeitgeist. i've seen guys yeah i've seen part of one and two of terminator but i've never seen like the whole th- either of the whole things through and i've never seen robocop but i know a lot about it mm-hmm. in general um but it's just like yeah, yeah, it was all right you know i just wasn't overly like impressed by it um so i think it's a fun one especially for one i haven't seen i'm surprised how good it, it still works for me Mm. Yeah, so that's that's that for me. I, I, I was Oprah versus Alan next for me. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean it was it was funny. I I laughed at a, at a lot of it, but it was just like it was just, you know, it just like it was like okay, they're they're the talk the talk show ladies, and they get some sick sick rhymes and, and beats, and mm-hmm. I don't know the material the material just didn't feel like other than the the dig at the dig at Porsche and the dig at, um, Oh, uh, Stedman Stedman. <laughs> those are, those were the, like the funniest bits for me, but, um, everything else was kind of like, it was, it was funny, but yeah, it was pretty, uh, surface level, particularly like, like I said, it hasn't like aged super well. Cause like Oprah, Oprah really hasn't been relevant in a long time, which is really weird to say. But she doesn't but, have to be, right? She made her mark. Yeah, because she because she made her she made her mark on TV history. I mean, you have a car. Yeah, you win a car, and you win a car, and you you know. But like, you can make Oprah jokes, and everyone will know what you're talking about. Cause, she's an icon. Yeah, she is. Um, but uh, but yeah. But then she'll come back for an occasional royal interview. So yeah, yeah, just a royal, just a just you know, just a little bit of a royal interview, you know. So. Uh, okay, so uh, next I have uh, this might be controversial for you. So oh. you really like this one, but uh, the Romeo and Juliet versus Bonnie and Clyde. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just didn't gel with me for whatever reason. Maybe it was just maybe if I watched it again, I would like it more. Um, but I just like I, I think I just enjoyed the other ones a little bit more uh, than that one. A little bit more of the duos. But I think I, I seem to have grouped the duos, most of the duos together by the look of it. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I do like it a lot, uh, yeah. but it's still in my bottom half of the season because I think the others yeah. are just so good. I, think, I have yeah. an eighth, so not too far okay. off. Um, um, they, this... did have, they had a lot of cameos this season too, by the way. Um, uh, Romeo and Juliet had uh, Grace Helbig and Hannah Hart. Uh, yeah, Grace was... Mm-hmm. Juliet and Hannah was Bonnie, so, mm-hmm. and there's a bunch more that'll come up as well. So next, I had Lewis and Clark and Bill and Ted. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was really, I thought it was funny. Uh, I like both things. I've only ever, I've only ever seen like 
again, this is the thing where I've like, I've only ever seen part of Bill, uh, I think it was Excellent Adventure, not Bogus Journey, or the new one, which I think was, was the new one called? Bill and Ted Face the Music. I haven't seen that, obviously. Uh, I would really like to because they seem like they're just really goofy and fun. Yeah, um, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. This is, yeah. We just got to review all this on Tarkron. And... All this. You just got to go through all of them on Tarkron, yeah. Uh, and Lewis and Clark had some you know nice fun bits of Pocahontas, or not Pocahontas, <laughs> Sacagawea. <laughs> Pocahontas showed up. It was weird. The Sacagawea showing up, and, um, and so that was that was really great. Um a little, little bit of history in there, so that's always good to good to actually get some some genuine history in uh, in epic rap battles of history. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it was a fun one. There's not too much there, but it, I was yeah. always thought it was fun. Red yeah. and Link, whenever they play characters, they basically just play themselves. You know, it's, like, <laughs> it's kind of true. Like, yeah. Most of the <laughs> other ones, they like try to play a character, but it's just them yeah. kind of. It's just it's just Red and Link goofing off. Yeah. But I um, love Red and Link though. So. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Ghostbusters versus Mythbusters is my next one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think I like this one a little bit more than you. I don't know where it places on yours, but I remember saying I, that you know, when we were going through. I was like, oh, that, was, that was awesome. I was just saying because it was. It was a really good start to the season. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of really good good interplay between them. I thought the portrayal of all of the Mythbusters, uh, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman, was just like perfect mm-hmm. and you had uh and you had grant tory and uh carrie well, carrie uh and uh rest in peace grant imahara um but uh yeah that was really it was just a lot of fun i, I liked all the ghostbusters references the state puff mm-hmm. marshmallow man showing up um we gotta review all the ghostbusters too I don't know if I really. I don't want to see Ghostbusters 2016 though, <laughs> at all. I have no interest in seeing that garbage. What's going to happen? One um, day, it probably will. Um, yep. Yeah, so that's my number eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, um, one of, that's one of my least favorites of the season, just because I'm not really yeah. connected too much with them. Yeah. You like when all the Stay Puff, <laughs> Stay Puff Marshmallow Man comes in. Yeah. Oh. Uh, next, I had. What did I have next? Jim Henson versus Stan Lee. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I actually. It might not have been. <laughs> What's happening? Because like I, I, I did some like I did some like really quick switching around at one point, and I think I might have like left something out. I don't know if I mean, meant to have that one that low. Oh, you know what? Oh no, I actually. Shaka Zulu and Julius Caesar. I think was the one I intended to actually put there. Um. What number are you at now? A seven. That's seven, mm-hmm. I believe, because I've done. Let's see. Twelve was Terminator Robocop. Uh, then Oprah versus Ellen. Then Bonnie and Clyde. Then uh, Bill and Ted and Lewis and Clark. And then Ghostbusters, Mythbusters. So Shaka Zulu versus Julius Caesar. Good history in there. Uh, it was fun. Uh, nice interplay between both of them. But it was sort of. It was still kind of surface level, and it felt like it was like one of the shortest ones of the season. It didn't feel like there was. They could have gone a little bit more in depth. I felt mm-hmm. um, would have been would have been fun. But that was I always really liked that one. I think because it got a certain energy to it. I like it. Does have a good it does have a good energy. And again, I'm ranking these, but like I I these were all awesome. Like honestly, yeah. I just felt like there could have been a little bit more on that one. And that's another YouTuber that's D Storm. Yeah, I'm not familiar with D Storm. He was more popular back in the day. He was, did mm-hmm. raps on YouTube and now. Then he became like a Vine person for a while, so I don't know what he's doing nowadays. But we had him so, on a couple. He was Kanye in the uh, Donald Trump versus Ebenezer Scrooge one as well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he was Mr. T in uh, Miss Mr. Rogers versus Mr. T. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So let's see. Where am I at? I'm at six now. So we're in the top half. Did Did I miss David Copperfield and Harry Houdini? Yes, you did. That was a lot lower. Okay. <laughs> initially, I would put that one below. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed it. I would put that one probably right above, right above Romeo and Juliet and Bonnie and Clyde. Um, okay. So now that we got that out of the way, so we're actually at a different one. 
I missed a number. That's what's going on. This is what happens when I when I rank them all super quickly like this. Now I'm like, I don't even all know I did right was now. Right, I wrote numbers clearly right next to each one. I just, so I, I just, I was going all over the place, man. I was like ranking them. I was just like, I don't know. Um, I have like question marks next to some of them too. Um, okay, so I think I don't know. I don't know what number I'm on. I'm just gonna do with the the number that comes after seven, which is six, and okay. that one's is next to. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock versus Spielberg versus Tarantino versus Kubrick versus Bay, <laughs> which I thought was awesome, and I laughed the whole time, and it was great, and I, I had a really good time. That's great. It's like you're touching on a lot of different things, like yeah, movie directors, you got talk show yeah. hosts, you got uh, uh, serial killers, you got a lot of different stuff here. Philosophy, mm-hmm. and like Jim Henson versus Stanley is like the creative, so it's cool how they kind of check off all the different there's a lot of different things involved so next i have eastern philosophy versus western philosophy uh this it was honestly it could it's neck and neck between the two um i, I this one was it was the other group one that i thought was just a lot of fun um i like how they how it started with them kind of each facing each other but then it sort of devolved into infighting between all of them because mm-hmm. that just felt like like that's how philosophy kind of like work sort of like um all your different perspectives all sort of arguing and, and jockeying for like no this is this perspective of thought about the way of thinking and the way you perceive the world is built built upon yours and therefore it is better um i mean it's not necessarily cut and dry like that but it is that's sort of the the philosophical dialogue is all about argumentation more or less Mm-hmm. So it's that that is that was a lot of fun. Um, you got all the all the input from all different different staples of each side, uh, with uh, Sun Tzu, Confucius, and uh, Long Tzu. Lao Tzu, yeah. Lao Tzu, Long Lao Tzu, and then Long Gui, the uh, the giant turtle from Final Fantasy, uh, uh-huh. versus <laughs> um, versus Nietzsche. Uh, Voltaire and uh, Socrates, so yeah, big building blocks. Those those are those are huge building blocks in like so. You Socrates, ancient world, Voltaire, the Enlightenment, and then Nietzsche, who's uh, postmodernism uh, is heavily derived from. So you definitely have have your big 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 boys Western thought. Mm-hmm. I'm not as familiar with all of Eastern philosophy, but I know Confucius is the ancient period. Um, I don't know where the other two fall specifically, one after the other. Yeah. Um, I have a copy of the Art of War, uh, which is really good. Um, but yeah, they did, they fit in a lot of different res- references in there. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Again, good history. Good stuff. Uh, next I have uh, Jim Henson versus Stan Lee. Uh, this one was just great. Uh, I love how they came together in the end. And then I got really kind of sad, <laughs> but in a very, very, very darkly funny mm-hmm. way. And it was like, hey, both your creations are now owned by a mega corporation. <laughs> and then the Epigrabitals of History does this a lot where it's like, not necessarily the, the historical figure themselves. Yeah. It's like Walt Disney, but it's not really Walt Disney. He's just kind of representing yeah. Disney. He's just representing Because he obviously Disney, didn't, yeah. doesn't know that he goes on to own these companies. But Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's it was yeah, that's fun stuff. Do I have two left? Two, two yeah. left. Okay, good, because these are definitely my top two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jack the Ripper versus Hannibal Lecter. It's my number two. Uh, this was great. Um, just a lot of really good monologuing, which you would want from to a fictional and a real serial killer. It's kind of what you look for in in the fictive stuff so it's theoretically what you would also want in your in your i mean jack the ripper really has sort of become more or less a myth now too because he was never caught so mm-hmm. he kind of is like in the in sort of the lexicon of serial killers he's kind of like the the big mystery you know like whatever came of him um yeah i thought there was like uh some stuff that came out later where it's like people seem to think it's some barber or mm. something like there was some stuff that linked a person to think it might be this person 
but I don't, I've never looked into it extensively. But I know Sweeney, that he was never Sweeney caught. Todd, the Demon yeah. Barber of Fleet Street. <laughs> Well, there were some theories for a long, for a while. I don't know how credible this is, but I remember re- hearing theories at one point that he may have actually uh, emigrated to America and just sort of hidden in there. I don't know if there were any. I don't know if there were any similar killings that happened that would link him. I think he. I think if he had, then he didn't really do much more after he had moved. Um, hmm. But that's crazy. That you can just have like serial killers with such notoriety that just go on and they can just like live out the rest of their life it's like all right i got away with it yeah it's pretty wild yeah it's it, particularly in the modern era that's very un very unheard of very unheard of yeah because you're you, your but, past will come back to haunt you so. <laughs> but kind of badass if you do but kind, but kind <laughs> of awesome you know how he yeah if you <laughs> do get away with it kind of badass kind of badass and uh yeah you awesome. did that you did that um, okay so we <laughs> brutalized his women <laughs> yes it was awesome that was <laughs> um so yeah uh, that was just a lot of fun uh the the beat behind i remember we were uh, just saying like ah the the mixing and the beat was just so good on that one um a lot of really good like interplay between both of them it was really great it's a lot of really great that. beats this season that really set the mm-hmm. tone for each one and set them for apart sure. that one was like was, yeah distinctly like horror sort of vibe to it it was yeah. really good and there's like screams they add in throughout it was nice yeah it's really good stuff and my number, number one, one is zeus versus thor um you had it had it all it had uh sick beat it had awesome that just awesome back and track in general uh awesome lego reps, animation the, the animation was great the uh uh what was that what was i gonna say Rap. Uh, the the raps were awesome, really varied and cool and interesting. There was historical information there, or pop culture references in there. It was great, man. I it loved it. Great. I loved every second of it. It's it definitely just... one of the best I've ever done. Like, yeah, in terms of just raps in general, it's like bar for bar. It's a lot yeah. there. Yeah, it was very, very dense. I thought, yeah, I thought and yeah. It was great. There's, this, it's, there's a lot of substance there, and it was really like punchy. You know, it never stopped. Yeah, it just kept the momentum going. Yeah, it's great. There's a lot of great oh, sure. battles this season. Some mm-hmm. of my favorites. Mm. So my rankings, I'm not 100% on these either. Mm. It'll be Oprah versus Alan at 12. Mm-hmm. Then Ghostbusters versus Mythbusters. David Copperfield versus Harry Houdini. Lewis and Clark versus Bill and Ted. Romeo and Juliet versus Bonnie and Clyde. Terminator versus Robocop. Shaka Zulu versus Julius Caesar. Jim Henson versus Stan Lee. Jack the Ripper versus Hannibal Lecter. Alfred Hitchcock versus Steven Spielberg, Zeus versus Thor, and Eastern Philosophers versus Western Philosophers. Mm. That one's always been like my Big favorite. Soft spot. Yeah. But I don't know. It could it could be any of the top three. Really, is my number yeah. one this season. Yeah, those top three are, are just those are super super good. I agree. Yeah, um, but there's still some great battles to come. I mean, they've yeah. the the the. Up the this, ante this season. This yeah. is really tough, honestly. It, there wasn't really a stinker among them, I didn't think. So now there's just a standard at this point that's established yeah. for ERB where I don't think there's really yeah. notable duds that are like, oh, that wasn't a good battle from here on. It's like yeah. not one of my favorites, but it's still really well done. They'll have that kind of thing. But then there's just some really killer ones, especially for the next sure. couple seasons. I think th- we're through season six now, so only two more before we're caught up here. All right, well... Yes. Still, it's still to come in the future. Uh, this is always really fun. I have, I, 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 was telling you while we were watching it. I do like the fact that, I mean, a, it, it's, it's helpful just in an editing kind of thing because we don't have to, we don't have to edit our reactions or anything. But it's kind of nice to get this to get a really full perspective. It, it's good to have everything sort of fresh in your mind. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's fun. I, I kind of like going through a season at a time. It's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. I yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. Zach, where should our fine watchers and listeners, where should they go? What, what should they go listen to or watch after this video? Well, let's see. What are some of the, the top battles this season? We got philosophers. We don't yeah. we never talked about philosophy, really. Not, not, not really. I mean, not unless you're talking about, our, about our BuzzFeed quizzes video. Our BuzzFeed quizzes. Our BuzzFeed um, quiz, yeah. Very or, philosophical. Or our, or some maybe some of our hypotheticals, you know, maybe. Oh. You know. 
we get we get kind of we get kind of philosophical. Yeah, but there's also Zeus versus Thor. We have Thor, yeah. but Thor. Yeah. There's also Alfred Hitchcock versus Steven Spielberg. Have we done mm-hmm. any of their movies? Have we done any no. Spielberg yet? I don't think we have. Sad. One day we'll we do have. the Jurassic series probably one day. Yeah, that'd be good. Jurassic Jurassic would be fun. I think we'll go. With, we'll go with hypotheticals. So right, hypotheticals. Well, go watch the very first one that we did all those years ago. All those years ago. All right, and if you're not aware, hypotheticals is where we answer hypothetical questions and we kind of go into discussions. And we're currently going through superthetical's as well. It's kind of like with ERBs. We just kind of do them whenever we have the time to fit them in. Yeah, yeah. So we still have a few more of those videos coming out too. Indeed. So right. look forward to some of those. So subscribe to the channel, subscribe to our podcast feed, like the video, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, and like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at TalkRonTWO. I should have All like right. a little bell. Ding. Oh. Just, 